now that we got through 2020, it's time to get on those New Year's resolutions. And I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone that losing weight is one of the most common resolutions. So if that's one of yours, I have some great news for you. I'm going to share with you exactly how something as relaxing as crocheting helped me to lose 20 pounds. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to tell you if crocheting or knitting burns more calories. So a quick disclaimer, I am not a medical professional. I'm just sharing my own experience with you. Even before I started on this weight loss journey, I was a fairly active person. I would do some cardio at least once a day and weight train at least a couple of times a week. A typical day for me used to be getting what done what needs to be done, whether that be making my handmade orders or posting something new online or maybe making a YouTube video. And then after I got everything done, I would have my relaxing time, which would be watching TV and eating a snack, which usually ends up being something unhealthy. Pay attention, especially if you like to snack a lot or overeat, or if you're a night owl like me. Anybody else like to stay up till two or three in the morning? I know people will tell you it's better to go to sleep early, but there's something freeing about staying up late at night while everybody else is asleep. Give me a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. Let me explain to you how crocheting actually helped me lose 20 pounds. So it all started back in April when I was sewing face masks. I started getting so many orders that I couldn't really keep up with them. I was sewing the entire day. And I also had my crochet orders to do. So in order to make time to do those crochet orders, I had to cut out something. And really the only time I had to cut out was watching TV and snacking. So when I cut that out, I started crocheting. And after a few weeks of this, I noticed that I had lost a couple of pounds. And really the only thing I can contribute that to was I wasn't snacking, I was crocheting. So I just kept doing this. It kind of gave me the motivation to keep going and the pounds just kept coming off. I mean, seriously, try eating cheese puffs and crochet at the same time. And then I remembered a comment that I had read a while ago when I was reading questions and answers on Quora. So this is exactly the opposite you want to do when you want to lose weight. It was talking about how sumo wrestlers stay big. And it says, for your second meal, make sure you eat between 8 and 10 p.m. This virtually ensures a huge insulin spike in order to metabolize a large intake of calories. And since your body can't store that fuel in your muscles or organs, it stores it in, you guessed it, your fat cells. So whatever you do at this point, go right to sleep. Your body will do what it knows how to do best. Store, store, store. So how can you apply this if you're trying to lose weight? Well, if you have a bad habit of snacking like me, especially at night, right before you go to sleep. Try distracting yourself with a fun project like crocheting. Or just think of something else you can do with your hands. So that way, if you're using your hands to make something, you're not using your hands to eat something. Another tip that has helped me, which is really simple, but it really helps. If you get cravings in between meals and you feel like you need a snack, just drink a full glass of water. I know it sounds like that's not gonna work, but really it does because a lot of times, when you feel like you're hungry and you want to snack on something, you're actually thirsty. So try drinking a full glass of water and then wait like 10 minutes. And if you still have that craving, just go ahead and eat something. You know, try not to overindulge. But um, more than likely, you'll drink that glass of water and you'll be like, I'm not really all that hungry anymore. And that way, you'll be eating less calories during the day and you will eventually lose weight. And now it's time for what you all have been waiting for. I'm going to tell you which burns more calories, crocheting or knitting. And the winner is crocheting. Crocheting burns up to 173 calories and knitting burns up to 150 calories per one hour based on a 150 pound person. And of course, it is important to note that the number of calories burnt during different activities will depend on your age, weight, and heart rate. So this may not seem like a lot of calories compared to aerobic activities like walking, which can burn up to 360 calories, but it's more than just watching TV, which only burns about 70. So the next time you have a craving for something high in calories, try picking up your crochet hook instead. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope it was helpful for you and I wish you a happy and healthy new year. Bye-bye.